Okay, well, it's time for the word. Yeah, it's time for the, the meal. Okay, so let's sit down and let's sup. <laughs> We're gonna be doing a lot of reading today, yeah. a lot of scriptures to cover. Exactly. So that um, everyone will be able to go back and reference what we're talking about because it's very important that you can see things in the word as we bring it because we're living in a time right now that the most high is revealing a lot of things. That's right. When the scripture says that knowledge shall be greatly increased. You know, a lot of people like to only tag that and say that that means uh, technology and things of that nature. Right. But the, that knowledge is re referencing um, the things of Yah that are going to be revealed. Things that have been hidden for so long is actually going to be an increase. That knowledge is going to go forth and a lot of people are going to get their eyes open. Those eyes are going to pop open. That's right. And uh, the reason why we're doing this particular lesson today are women allowed to um, speak or teach or yeah. preach or do anything? I mean, even usurping authority over a male or all of these things are big question marks. Um, and we want to come from scripture and shed some light on what is really actually going on in those passages because we, exactly. we've seen so many examples throughout scripture that seem to be a little bit different than what the explanation of the day is. Okay, um, there were some very powerful women in scripture, um, and so the Most High is going to be raising up not just the men, but right. the women, the maid servants, our That's sons, right. our daughters. Did not his word say that? In the last days, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. That's right. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Um, basically, what we did was we, you know, this was has been a I mean, even when I was a Christian, there yes. were people that were going back and forth um, saying that women shouldn't teach, women should teach, women shouldn't preach, women should preach, and just a bunch of that back and forth thing, you know. So what we wanted to do was we wanted to come from the Torah. We want to check the Torah, first of all, mm -hmm. and see if there's anything in the Torah, and then we had to check the Old Testament, and then we went through the New Testament, see what scriptures, what's being said, and then we're going to try to line all this thing up. Now, I want to say this to you, first of all, okay? Now... Here's where we gotta uh, we gotta understand this, okay? First of all, there it, it seems to be contradiction in the scriptures, right? No, actually, it's not contradiction. Sometimes there's it's because of the way things are interpreted or the way things are translated, okay? But what we gotta do is stop doing this. When you come across one scripture that says one thing, right? Then you got another scripture that says something totally different. We gotta quit saying, well, you know what? Uh, if I'm going to choose, I'm going to choose this one. <laughs> Who's going to do? Just throw that one out? Well, you can't do that. You know, right? I like getting get understanding. Get understanding. So what you got to do, you got to say, okay, this one is right, and this one is right here, too. So instead of throwing one out for the other one because this one uh, uh, pleases me more, right? That's self-righteousness, huh? <laughs> No, you don't throw that one out because this one um, this pleases you, and you keep this one because it pleases you. You got to sit there and you got to say, okay, well, I, I, I know this one here because I, this one agrees with my spirit. But this one here, I'm not sure what's going on with it because it's, it seems like it's contradicting this, this one here. So somehow let me pray and let me seek the most high and see if there's a way that these two, this one and this one, can come together. Mm -hmm. Okay, is there a way that they can come together and that they both can stand true mm -hmm. to what it's saying but have an understanding as to what they're meaning? Yes. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So that's what we, we're going to do here, okay? Now, when we did our research into the Torah, there's nothing in the Torah that says that a woman cannot teach. Or that says that she should not speak, okay? Now, those of you out there that listen to this broadcast, go, if you want to do your own research, do it. Go to the scriptures in the Torah and search the Torah, okay, which is the first five books of the, of the, of the Old Testament, and tell me if you can find anything that says that a woman should not teach or speak. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, we can find anything. So now, what we decided to do was, when we discovered that there was no law um, forbidding women to speak, okay, in a group study even, okay, there's nothing like that. So we said, okay, well, let's look at the scriptures. Let's dig into the New Testament and into the Old Testament and see what these scriptures say. So we're going to pull up all the scriptures. Those that seem like it's, it's forbidding women to speak, those that seem like they're women speaking and preaching and teaching and doing what well, not preaching, of course, but we're talking about teaching and, 
and even um, uh, prophesying, basically. Okay, so let's start with this scripture here in in um, Acts. Now we got some scriptures going to be pretty long, but we're going to start with these, and then we're going to go over and go over this one passage in the book of Judith. Okay, but let's go to Acts. This is chapter two. Now, some of you all out there uh, that are on YouTube. Okay, if you go to the YouTube, the video being played on YouTube, some of you may be watching it on our site, okay? But if you want to click on the link there that's in the video at the bottom where it says YouTube and go to YouTube, there's a description under that video, okay? The broadcast that we're doing now. In that description is everything that we're going to basically talk about. So if you want to look at those scriptures and you want to go to those scriptures, they're right there. But this is Acts chapter 2. And we're looking at um, verse 17. Let's break this one over here. And we're going to be covering uh, from different translations too. So it's Acts chapter 2, verse 17. Um, Deborah, I'm going to have you read it. Actually, we're going to read verse... Um, Now, what's amazing is this statement here, this prophecy here was actually a prophecy of the Old Testament. It's actually from Joel, mm -hmm. okay, or Yoel, right. okay? Mm -hmm. And he's talking about it here being manifested in the book of Acts, okay? So let's go to verse 17, and the I'm going to have you read it. Start at verse 16, and you can read uh, 16 through 18. But this is that which was spoken by the prophet Yoel. And it shall come to pass in the last days, saith Yah, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall see dreams. And on my servants and on my handmaidens I will pour out in those days of my spirit, and they shall prophesy. Okay. Now, notice it says on, the, on what? He says, you're going to do this. He says, uh, this was a prophecy in the book of Joel. And it says, what? I'm going to pour out my spirit on all flesh and your sons and your daughters. You hear this? Daughters. So we ain't talking about an elderly woman that's going to just prophesy. Even your daughters are going to prophesy. Okay? Now, then it goes on and says, and they show and your, your they show have uh, dreams and visions, right? Mm -hmm. And then it says, and on my servants and on my handmaidens, mm -hmm. he's gonna do what? Pour out the spirit on them too. Mm -hmm. You see, and they show what? Prophesy. Mm -hmm. So not only his daughters, but his servants and handmaidens. Mm -hmm. I wanted to um, elaborate uh, a little bit. Yes, yes, it, it is. I mean, handmaidens. Okay. Yeah. I wanted to elaborate a little bit on that prophesying. Um, a lot of people think that that prophesying only means to foretell the future. Okay. Prophecy is also speaking the words that Yah has given you to speak. That's right. You know, it doesn't ne necessarily have to be just someone who's going to foretell something that's going to happen thousands of years down the line. It can be a word that the Most High gives someone to give another person. That's right. You know, in other words, the, the Most High gives you a word to speak and you go and speak it to uh, an assembly or you go and you speak it to that person or you know you just speak it in general that's right that's right that's that's prophecy you see mm -hmm. she got it so so how can she if she's supposed to be quiet then why then is the scripture telling us that she's going to do this mm -hmm. okay the daughters and handmaidens are going to do this mm -hmm. i thought it was strange that it said daughters it says your daughter sons and daughters mm -hmm. The one we talked about before in that one mm -hmm. message, mm -hmm. huh? Mm -hmm. Can the Gentiles be saved? What makes you a son and a daughter? Mm -hmm. huh? adoption. The adoption, okay? Mm -hmm. But the servants and handmaidens are who? Those that were adopted. Isn't that something? Mm -hmm. So yeah, those right. that are of the, of the tribe of Israel does not regrafted back in. These are the servants and the handmaidens. See, even on them, mm -hmm. I'm going to do what? Pour out my spirit. <laughs> So he gonna pour out the spirit on all of us, basically, right? Those of us that have been regrafted in, and those that haven't been regrafted in. He said, "I'm gonna pour out my spirit mm -hmm. on all of my people." Hallelujah! Yes. Isn't that wonderful? That's wonderful. You see. Hallelujah. So now let's look. Let's dig more into this. Okay. Now I want to come from this passage with you because this is the one thing that one scripture that the Most High um, kept pretty much um, 
putting on our hearts and kept showing us that this is it, pretty much it's kind of funny a lot of people have told us that this that, that we remind them of these people here but this is go to acts chapter 18 this is uh where it talks about aquila and priscilla okay acts chapter 18. now she was bringing up the uh prior on what's going on here in this passage okay um if you look at verse 24 here it tells you that it tells you that and a certain jew which we know uh probably didn't say g prior to judah okay certain um uh yehuda named apollos born at alexandria an eloquent man and mighty in scripture came to ephesus okay this man was instructed in the way of yah being fervent in the spirit and he spake and taught diligently the things of yah knowing only the baptism of john mm -hmm. now listen to what it's saying here now this man was he was sent by yah to speak right mm -hmm. and to and to teach people right he was going forth doing this but he had only known the baptism of John. He didn't know the baptism of who? Mm -hmm. Yehoshua. Okay? Now, see what's going on here. And he began to speak boldly, verse 26, in a synagogue, whom when Aquila and Priscilla had heard, they took him unto them and expounded unto him the way of Yah more perfectly. Mm -hmm. Okay? Now, imagine if Apollos looked at um, uh, Priscilla and said, you know what? I will listen to your husband, but I'm not going to listen to nothing you got to say. You know, <laughs> shut this woman up. You know, I just want to hear you. So you talk to me. No. It was both of them that pulled him aside and he was a teacher that went out teaching, right? Mm -hmm. Who was in the way it says here that he was instructed in the way of Yah. Yes. Whoa, you mm -hmm. see that? But yet they were able to pull him and say, come here, we want to talk to you. We want to show you a more perfect way because all you know is the baptism of John. But let's talk to you now about the baptism of Yahushua. Mm -hmm. You see that? Yes. Yes. <laughs> so this man was able to receive it because in the next chapter, he goes on to talk about those that they only knew what John's baptism. Mm -hmm. You see? Yes. So basically, we got to understand that women do have a place to speak mm -hmm. you see so we're going to look at those scriptures because there is some scriptures that talk about that a woman should be quiet and all so we're going to look at those scriptures too yes now one more i want to go to um i'm gonna let my wife read this one anna we're gonna do anna the prophetess okay okay we're going to turn to luke chapter 2 verse 36 through 38. <clears throat> Okay. And there was one Anna, a prophetess, the daughter of Phanio of the tribe of Asher. She was of great age and had lived with an husband seven years from her virginity. And she was a widow of about four score and four years, which departed not from the temple, but served Yah with fastings and prayers night and day. And she coming in the instant gave thanks likewise unto Yah and spake of him to all them that looked for redemption in Jerusalem. So she, she spake. Yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. So she taught, y'all. You hear this? She spoke to who? Who did she speak to? All of those <coughs> who looked for redemption in Jerusalem. No, all of the women, right? Everybody. Only the kids, right? Everybody. Everybody. That's everybody. <laughs> Anybody that's looking for redemption in Jerusalem, she spoke to these people. Mm -hmm. So we got to understand, okay, so then this is, now, come on now, this is what the word says, yes. okay? Mm -hmm. So now you, you can't take that and throw it out the window. You got to sit there and say, okay, it does say this here. So, okay, let's not rule that out. Let's sit this here and say, okay, well, maybe there's an understanding 
to what's going on here because there are scriptures that talk about the women not speaking and all this. So we got to see how can these two come together and how, how can it work? Because it's obvious here that the most high rose this woman up for this purpose, right? Mm -hmm. Same with Aquila and Priscilla, right? Mm -hmm. So we got to know that it was a reason and, and the most high is doing this. It, it, it can't be out of order because mm -hmm. most I don't he don't he don't deal with out of order things right that's right so it gotta be his order okay mm -hmm. so now 